it's end of January 2018 and I'm showing you my new Fiber Owl test kit. It's a Fiber Owl 7. The model number is a KF7XMS and it's a quad tester which means it'll do multi-mode and single mode fiber testing. Um, the light source is a, a model WPMS and the meter itself is a, a model 7, I'm sorry, F7X. And so a little bit about this unit from a how to use it type of a thing. So it has got a, uh, a port on top here. It's called, the, there's the SM port. Note that the SM port is a, is a send out only port. So it only sends information out. So it sends out a laser outward. So you can't plug anything into this and, and assume that the unit will test on it. So this is a this is a send only unit. The the incoming or the receive is always this guy right here, and it's a universal port. So it's universal like that. There's also in the kit there's a little screw off that lets you uh, do the different types of connectors on here. So my particular unit uh, was designed for SC units, and so it's got an SC on it, and it always needs an SC UPC connector. So the the straight connector, not the APC angled connector. So mine uh, specifically needs a, a blue a blue connector if, if the colors are right with the cabling that you get. So uh, one of the things that you can do with this is that you can test a length. So let's say that you're in uh, uh, one of your, uh, your rooms, your data room, and you have another data closet across the way, and you want to test the fiber distance between them to make sure because you know what your distances are in a good, a good length that's working and you've got some problems. Um, I have particularly here, I have a, uh, a 1,000 meter um, uh, launch cable that I'm going to use as an example. And when you want to test a cable, you actually just test it right from this unit here. So you're going to plug in the, and again, this has always got to be in this particular one here. So this is the Fiber Owl 7. I'm going to have to plug in my SC UPC connector into the send only side. And then in the receive side, I can plug in whatever type of connector I've got. And there is a, a dust cover on here. Please don't lose the dust covers. And actually, before I plug all those in, I'm going to actually use my cleaners. And I have a we have available to us the Fujikura cleaners. This is the one-click cleaner. And uh, what you do with it is you just pull this off and it goes straight down in it. And give it a couple of clicks and that'll clean it. And then you've also got the function on top of it that it can clean the you flip up the little cap and it'll actually clean the covers or clean the uh, the cables themselves too so you've cleaned that and if you've got a lot of cables to clean we've also got these clean top units that you can use and uh, just you, all what you do with them is you open them up and then you just scrub and clean that and every time you pull one of these out you should be cleaning it so you've got that. So again, we've got a thousand meter cable here. I'm going to put my uh, SC UPC end in the Fiber Owl 7. I'm going to put my other end in the receiving portion of it. And then I'm going to turn it on. So now I've got the unit turning on. And if I want to just do a test cable, I'm just going to go down to what they call the OPM mode and hit enter. And then it waits for me to tell it that there's an option here that says length. And I'm ready to test. So I hit the test button over here. And now I'm testing. Now this is a thousand meters. And right now this is showing that there's, if you can see it on the screen, it's showing 502 meters. So you might wonder why it's only half of that. What happens is the, the unit thinks and it's it, it does some automatic calculations for you, assuming that that you're, you've got a loopback cable at the other end in that other room that you're at. So you're sitting in the room you're at now, the fiber's going out to the other room, and then there's a loop over there that brings it back in here to run this test. And so this is saying, hey, I need to have that distance because it's out and back. So what's the distance between them locations? Well, it's 500 meters. It's a 1,000 distance total. So that's why this is doing that. So now the next thing I want to show you what we want to do is that we want to use this device to... Uh, this is the tester again, and then you've got the light source over here. So we're going to use this device here to test for a uh, test for loss. 
in a cable. So if we've got something that's a thousand thousand feet away we, and we want to see what, what kind of loss we have, what we can do is we're going to turn this, pull this out right now because this is a send only port again. So that's the send only. And then we're going to come over here to our Wave Source Pro. And what we've got on here is there is a there's a multi-mode laser in here that shoots at 850 and 13, 1300 nanometers. And then there's a single mode laser inside of here that shoots at 1310 and 1550 nanometers. And what that is, is this 850 and 1300. If you turn the device on, it shows 850 right here. So this is the single mode side. I'm sorry, the multi-mode side. This is the multi-mode side that shoots at 850 and 1300. So right now, when it's red, it's shooting, the laser is shooting at 850. If I want to change that, now it's shooting this here laser, it turns green. Green means on this side, it's a multi-mode 1300 that it's shooting out at a wavelength. Now I'm shooting single mode on this side, so I need to get it over here. So the way I do that is I hit the port button. And so right now, 1310 is red. And if I want to go 1550 wavelength and test on that, then I hit the button and it's going to go 1550 and 1550 is green. So that's what that is. And then there's a CW and a mod. Uh, CW is continuous wave. That means it's just a solid straight wave. And then modulating wave means it actually turns it on or pulses it. And so depending on the type of equipment I got and what kind of test you want to do, um, I usually just use continuous wave to leave it on all the time. Um, but you can, uh, however your test might need to do. But So that's what that is. So now I'm over here in the uh, the single mode side, and I need to plug in on my single mode side. I need to plug in my uh, my, um, my, a, my my SC UPC connector. So I'm over here now, and right now if I look at my Fiber Owl Seven, I'm over here measuring. I'm at 850, so I don't really want to be at 850. So that's not where I want to be. So I need to get my wavelength flipped up here to. 15, 1550. So right now I've got that. And what I like to do is I actually like to measure at both 1310 and 1550. And there's a feature inside of here that I can do where it's just auto here. What you do is you hit that for a second, wait for it to show on the screen. It says auto. Now what it's going to do is it's going to modulate back and forth between those two. And the, the meter itself already knows that. It's, it's intuitive to know. So it's actually shooting right now both of those wavelengths and it's, it's testing them right there. So you can see that. Okay. And if anything around 10 for just a test cable, 10 is great. And then depending on how far away you get, uh, you've got more jumps and hops and different things like that in the middle of it. So you've got things to accommodate that way. So as an example, let's see, we're at 10.4 uh, uh, 10 and 10.24. I'm going to add a jump in the middle of this. Let's see if I can do that. I can. So I've got a little uh, adapter here. And I'm just going to couple up a few things. Okay. So I'm going to pull this out now. And uh, do a shorter run with something else. So I've got my, I've got two three meter cables. I'm pulling the dust cover off and I'm going to run my clicker on it. Cleaned it up or I could use my clee tops again and I'm ready to stick that over in here. And then I got my other end is there. And I'm going to clean it. I'm going to clean this. And I'm going to plug it in. As you can see, it said low. And what low means is that uh, there isn't enough light going on in there to be able to be measured. It usually means that you've got the cap on or something. So right now it's uh, working its way through. I have it all. Oh, 
I guess <laughs> there's a reason it says low. Plugged in the wrong one. Plugged in the end one. So that's a good test right there that the unit's working. So it's saying low. So it helps when you plug in the one that's live. Now the 1550 should come back to life. Make sure I got my stuff. Oh, I did it again. Got to get my table cleaned up here. Now it should come back to life, and it did instantly. So there we go. Now we're down. So now we're underneath 10. 10 is great for patch cables and jumpers that we've got in any kind of distances. So, so that is how to test the loss on this. Again, the biggest thing is, is making sure that um, if you're plugging anything into the meter itself, the meter side, this is the outport only, and the outport only accepts the SC UPC connectors, which are typically blue. And this particular port on the right side of it is a universal port that you can plug blue or uh, green, however you've got in there. And then on the uh, the light meter, the light source itself, I should say, not the light meter, the light source itself, um, you also need to plug in uh, a SC UPC connector into each of its connectors that it's got for what it is. Another thing about it is, is never look at the light inside of there. It's very, uh, it's got problems for anything like that, so don't, please don't look inside. And then make sure to please also put the dust covers back. Uh, for what you've got and uh, tidy things up from what the unit is. And if you find that you're in need of cabling or cords or anything like that, I've got a variety of cables and cords for everybody in case we run into some issues. So that way if we need something, we have it. So don't let a cable issue be in it, uh, something there. I've got a variety of adapters and again the cleaners are the key thing that you've got so I know a lot of the, uh, the, the rooms that we have are dirty so definitely use the cleaners that we have to uh, keep things tidied up especially in the test equipment.